Of what I have observed with, um, you know, myself in, in the world of private money and also the, the many students that uh, we've helped raise a lot of private money, it seems as though one of the best skills to have to be successful in attracting the funding and teaching other people what it's all about really comes down to not only your confidence and knowing what you're talking about, but also uh, your communication skills. Would you agree with that? Oh, no question about it. No question about it. Being able to communicate. And honestly, Jay, as you well know, it, raising money, talking about people about money is really just a conversation, right? It's about leading a person down a path, asking the right questions and having a conversation. It's truly not a pitch. People think, oh, I pitched this. I've raised, look, I've raised and deployed $80 million. We have $40 million deployed right now as we're doing this uh, discussion. But I never felt like I was pitching someone, um, especially with my experience being in the stock market, was that I'm just kind of comparing the stock market, the volatility of the market, the ups and downs of the market to the safety, the security, and the predictability of real estate. At the end of the day, I leave it up to that investor what they want to do. And fortunately, they usually make what I think is the right decision of investing in real estate, at least with a big portion of their portfolio. The reason why I do still like stocks, bonds, mutual funds in some cases is simply because it's so liquid. Jay, as you know, you could snap your fingers, you could get liquid, you could you know, go buy something else, you could pay for whatever you need. It's super liquid. Real estate, as we know, is not so liquid. So having these types of discussions around, look, the stock market for the last 100 years has averaged a 9% return. If you talk to any financial advisor, they'll use a 7% blended return on a portfolio because you make in, mix in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and, and, and you know secure investments, 7%. That's before, right? And I'm talking to you, Jay, like I'm, I'm talking to one of these guys that I'm presenting to. So hopefully this is valuable for your audience, but that's before the 7%, before fees and commissions. So you're really down, the average mutual fund has a 3.14% internal expense ratio between the commissions, the 12B1 fees, the expense ratios. There's 13 different fees in your average mutual fund. That's not even disclosed up front. It's buried in the prospectus, 13. So when you take that 7% average return and then you, you know, take out those fees, the average investor doesn't know it, but the, over the long haul, they're going to get about a four to five percent net net return. And when I just educate people about that, and then I talk about, hey, you can make a private lender loan, or you can invest in an apartment, or you could do a loan or a JV deal on a rental property, and you're going to net over ten percent plus possibly more with equity. It's just a discussion. It's not a pitch. That's what I think people need to understand. If we just educate the common investor, the mom and pops, whether they're accredited, not accredited, about what actually has been happening in the stock market for the last 100 years, that's irrefutable proof. We just have to educate them on it and let them make a good decision for themselves. I tell people all the time, um, of course, I, I don't have 40 million uh, deployed. I've got 8 million deployed right hey, now. Hey, that's good. 8 million is a lot. That's, on, big, uh, you know, that's great. Single, single family houses. And I tell people all the time, I've never asked anybody for money. That's right. I've, I've never asked anybody for money. Um, and it all comes down to exactly what you just said, Josh. And that is, they say, well, how do you do that then? Well, you do what Josh just said, and that is you put on your teacher hat and you educate them. So we've got 47 um, private lenders right now that uh, are lending us money on deals, investing in our deals. And first of all, not one of them, and they'll tell you this, not one of them had ever heard of this world of private money. They didn't know what it was. Right. And none of them had ever heard of, self-directed IRAs, which I hope that sticks around for a while. That's back in the headlines these days. Yeah, it is.